hello guys welcome back so now let's just start working on this tiktok clone project click on new flutter project double click on it and then make sure to select flutter then click next and then here we have to write our project name so i will simply give it name as tiktok underscore clone remember the name of your flutter project must be in small english alphabet and do not give any space instead of space you can use this underscore okay and yeah and then after it some description if you want to add of course have the organization so the organization is you can write here your name or your company name or your website for example com dot my name is Muhammad Ali let's say your name is John so you can write com dot John okay it is totally up to you and we want to create it for the Android iOS so unchecked Linux Mac OS web and Windows you want this application to be developed for Android iOS now this project location is the place where this TikTok loan project will be served that is where do you want to create it so of course the project location you can choose from here that is where do you want to save okay you can just select that path that is where do you want okay so I will save it on the desktop so I will simply say C users and this is my username and in here we have desktop so on the desktop that is now when I click on create the project will be created on my desktop as the project location is on the desktop now by which name we want to create the project by the same name which is tiktok underscore clone so make sure to write here slash and that that then that same project name which is tiktok underscore clone so make sure to do it like this if you want to change the default project location so in my case my all projects will be saved whenever i create a brand new flutter project it will be saved on the desktop by any name which i will give here so anyways this was some basic information now let's just create and then click on create so the project is creating creating flutter project as you can see on the desktop it is created now first of all you can see here we have the Android module and we have the iOS module which simply means that this Flutter project when we write code for it that is when we develop it it will work only for the Android and for the iOS now the code files which we will create or you can say where we will write the code that is basically inside the lib folder so currently we have the dot file and here you will see some default code which you can see here okay then next thing is the popspec.ml file so here basically we add dependencies or you can say assets like images etc whatever we need in our project okay any asset file we basically add it from here it can be images or it can be even fonts or anything like that similarly depend the dependencies as well so anyways this was just to describe some important aspects of a flutter project and now let's just start working on it so first of all we will start from the main dot dot from where our application begins here you will see some default code which is my home page make sure to minimize that code okay my home page similarly my home page start minimize that and we do not need this so we will just remove it like this then we do not need these comments so remove it okay just like this and then first of all the title will be you can say tiktok clone and then this theme simply means that what will be the overall theme of our app of our tiktok clone so we want black theme for it okay so that's why we have to specify the theme here so what we can do here is we can simply say here that is theme data dot dark dot copy with make sure to put a comma and then copy with inside the copy with we can say scaffold background color and that color will be colors dot black just like this then right click on lib 
new and let's create a new folder that is new directory or you can say new package and the name of this will be authentication press enter so authentication folder or you can say package or you can say directory it has been created successfully as you can see here authentication now right click on authentication folder new dot file let's create a new dot file and we will give it name as login underscore screen login underscore screen remember the dot file name must be in small english alphabet do not use capital letters and instead of space you can use underscore so now let's just press enter so inside the authentication we have our first login underscore screen dot dot file let's implement this so you can say import material dot dot we will create a stateful widget we will give it name as login screen And of course, as you know, we are using the getxstat management for developing this TikTok clone app. So of course, that is something which we will do. I mean, the getx package, we will getx dependency, we will add in the next video. For now, we just want to create an empty login screen, and we will just display a message on it. That is, we can simply say body, and then add the center we will say child text say login screen just to see if it is working or not that is the project which we have created so anyways come back here to the man dot dot and now from here we can simply say home that is our initial root initial screen will be login screen the app will start from the login screen and as the uh, app theme will be black that is dark theme so we want to specify some color that is the text color will be white so we can see it so now we are ready to test the application now you can test the app on your real phone or also on your emulators so for example if you do not have a real phone then you can uh, create a virtual phone or you can say an emulator from here create device okay F which look like this when you create it from here it will look like this let me show it to you when you click on create device you will see an interface like this from here you have to choose your phone name so let's say i go with pixel xl click next and from here you have to choose the api level for example for the phone which i'm going to create the api level for that will be 25 N O U G A T not okay and then click next and then when you click finish it will basically create this phone for you of course you can rename this to my android phone let's say my android phone and then click finish so it will basically create a device for you that is a phone for you which you can see here and then you can open that phone from here by simply clicking on this play button and it is now starting that phone that is it will now open up so you have to wait for a minute or two okay as it is opening now so the phone opens successfully here you can see okay and now you will also see the name of your running phone here my android phone which you can see so now all you need is just to click on this play button in order to install our this tiktok clone flutter app on this phone okay you have to just click on play button in order to install this app on this phone so also you can uh, test the application on your real uh, phone for example i'm going to connect my real smartphone and once I connect my phone I will see the name here Galaxy A53 which is Samsung Galaxy phone okay so here you can see my phone name appears here so now I will now simply click on this play button in order to install the app on my real smartphone so the app is running now and here you can see we are on the login screen and at the center of the screen we are seeing this login screen text as you can see here now we do not need this debug banner okay so we will remove it 
here on the main dot dot all you need is after the title you can simply type here that is debug show check mode banner and you have to set this to false so what it will do is it will simply remove that banner you can see that 